Welcome to the UK! Everyone came to the trailer. It's mad fam, like how we've just like blown up and stuff, and it's just us just being ourselves. We dropped this one video, it's a blindfold challenge, and the video went viral, popped off, and boom, that was it. I'm next wave because my story is different. 10 million views at the age of six. When I started this fangirl, I felt unrepresented, so I did something about it. I do feel like the old rules are disappearing. A lot of women are getting involved. What? My name is Hassan Ayari. How many people have I seen with the same story as me? Basically, no one. I'm different. I started football at the age of three, was able to do 500 keep you uppies at six years old, got a YouTube video with 10 million views, and moved from New York to Northern Ireland to England, where I play in Sheffield now. Since that, like, that YouTube video, people kind of like, obviously like, doubted or say, like, you've done this at a young age, but can you do it on the big stage with Premier League club, championship club, just professional football in general? But I've always like, used that as motivation. I took the criticism and obviously put it in my training and obviously made me a better player. Football's changed since I've been watching as a young kid. Whole new wave of footballers with different talents, different abilities, and different capabilities. On three. One, two, three. Betis! Betis is a Sunday league football team who are also content creators. Betis, LML, man, let me live, bro. <laughs> How it happened was that we dropped this one video, it was a blindfold challenge, and Michael missed the ball, and from there, Went viral. Soccer AM, um, Brand Daily, I'm just Bay. That's until on Twitter was my people like, this is funny. I was like, how this funny? This is how we always are. Mm -hmm. So it's like, us just being ourselves, people kind of love that. With the love of football, we've all come together. When I first started setting up this fan girl, when I first started talking about it, I'd have a lot of people say to me, oh, you're not a real fan. <laughs> Nobody owns that term. My name's Amy Druka, and I am the founder of this fan girl. In 2016, I didn't have anyone that I could watch football with. You could visibly see a difference in the way that men and women were treated in football. They think that we don't know about the rules. They think that we don't know who the players are. And that's absolutely not true. I'm a real football fan. Some of the people that I've met through the football, I would not have met anywhere else. Having diversity and women and different people there definitely changes the atmosphere and it changes the game for the better. It was the best year of my club's history ever, but I could have enjoyed it more if I'd had more friends to experience it with. We wanted to change that. We There's so much opportunity for people to showcase their talent. I got to Northern Ireland because of that YouTube video. I had a pretty good season, like 30 goals, and it came to this one particular game, basically determined who was going to win the league. It was a tight game, 1-1, last 10 minutes of the game. Got the ball, finished it first time outside box, then blew up all over the newspapers. Yeah, it kind of went viral from then. People from all over the world DM'd me on Instagram saying, oh, I've watched your video. Just amazing how people just, social media's grown. With YouTube, not a lot of people that look like us do it. A lot of us are African and we try to incorporate that in our videos. We're not reading something off a script. What you see in the camera is, it, it is what we are. A lot of people feel like they can relate to it. Someone out there that's like you and that, you know, that can understand the language and the culture that you're from. You being yourself is very important. I think women really understand that there needs to be a place where they can connect with other women and talk about the game. People get in touch and sort of say, my daughter, she's eight years old, she wants to be a footballer, I've just shown her your page, she's so excited to see girls like her. So I hope things like this fan girl are able to change opinions. Babies especially is bigger than 90 minutes. We have a massive influence on the younger generation. If we can give an opportunity to a young man or a young woman to better their life in content creating, in football, in opportunities to play any sort of sport, then I think as a club we've done our job. It impacts more than just football. This fangirl is just linking us all together and us joining forces and, and it's showing how many other versions of me there are in every club around the country. My path I've taken at the Premiership is just different to others. It's not really the normal path for you to think you would see. UK is the place to be. We've got a lot of opportunity here. If you want to 
showcase your work, if you want to showcase your talent, you have all the channels available to do that to you in the UK, and people will respond to it. It's an important part of where football is going. How many goals have I scored, bro? How many goals have I scored? Yo, he's taking credit, boy. Everyone came to the trailer. Everyone came to the trailer. Man can't tell who's the favor. Everyone Welcome to the next wave. Man to the calm of the deeper. Man to the god that's been up. Nowadays can't tell who's the favor. Everyone came to the trailer. Everyone came to the trailer.